All right, now we're gonna talk about the portion of the plugin down here at the bottom left, which says Glide by default, but this is part of the plugin that can actually control two different things. Okay, we have Glide, but also something called Auto Bend. For this portion of the tutorial, let's use our pre-recorded melody instead of our harmony, as you'll notice that the Glide functions much better with a melodic line. At the moment, our melody is just hopping from one note to the next, like this. However, if we want each note to bend to the next gradually, we can use Glide, okay? Glide is just saying how long it takes for one note to reach the next, and the millisecond value impacts how long that takes. So let's kind of hit that sweet spot of gliding between notes and actually reaching the next note, because if you set your uh, duration for too long, you're not gonna reach the note by the time we're at the next note, and at that point, you're not even playing the same melody uh, that you're supposed to be playing. So take a listen. All right, so you'll notice something around 50 milliseconds is actually giving us a very clean glide between notes. Uh, and we're actually landing on each note too. We're actually reaching its pitch value. You can use this for all oscillators, uh, but you also have some other options here. You can use it for the first oscillator in the sine wave, uh, the second oscillator, etc. All right, so auto bend is a similar concept, only we're not gonna be bending to the next note. We're just gonna be bending from a certain point that we set. And we're gonna set that point in semitones. Okay, so for example, if we set this value to negative two semitones, or let's do an octave, let's do negative 12 semitones, we're gonna start each note an octave below, and then it's gonna bend up to the note that we're actually wanting it to play. And the amount of time it takes uh, to get from that lower octave to our main pitch is this millisecond amount here. It's important to state that if you're in legato mode, that bend is not gonna reset for every note. So I've put us into mono, uh, to give us a more noticeable effect and let you know that that bend uh, is resetting for every single note trying to get from an octave below to the actual pitch. All right, so you'll notice there's actually not a lot of time to work with to get from that uh, octave below to our pitch. So 50 milliseconds or below is probably where you would want to stay in this case, or else you're never going to actually reach uh, your pitch value.